In this repair video, we're gonna be working on an iPad 6 that came in for no power. This one is a little bit unique. Like I mentioned in the previous video, we're gonna be working on iPads this week. I'm trying to fix every iPad that we have in the shop here, just to take to get rid of all the iPads that we have. This is an iPad 6 Gen, and customer said that he did test the charging rate on the tablet, and it's working properly. But he's not getting a display on the screen, no image on the screen. Description of the issue, no image. Tried hard reset, tested new LCD with no change. Seems to charge fine. The first thing that comes to mind is maybe it's a backlight issue, maybe it's a, an LCD issue, maybe it's an image filter issue. Just like the usuals that we get here. Now let's plug the charging cable and see what's going on. The meter is reading 0 0.86 amps. Uh, 0 0.86 is not a bad reading, but the normal charge rate is 0 0.97, 0 0.95. That's the normal charging rate for an iPad. Now, if you look at this under the microscope, we can see that the tablet is charging at 0 0.86. Now, one thing I noticed is when we disconnect the battery, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. I'm going to put a separator between the battery and the motherboard. Now the battery is separated from the board. So when we plug that charging cable in, we should not get any reading because there's no battery to charge. The battery is disconnected. But look at this. Look at this. The charge rate is 0 0.9 even with the battery disconnected. So that tells me that there's a short somewhere on the board. Because where is all that power going? The battery is not being charged. It's disconnected. 0 0.89, 0 0.90 charge rate. There's a short somewhere on the board. So the problem is not a display issue, the problem is not an image issue, the problem is not an LCD issue, but we have a short on the board. We're going to go ahead and do a physical inspection, like we always do, just to see if we see anything obvious. This is the home button connector here. Anything missing here? Anything discolored, anything blown, any holes? on chips or components, nothing. And I did not think that we were going to find anything in this area here because a short usually does not come from this area, but we always do physical inspection just in case. FPC connectors, they look good. We have the backlight diodes here, the backlight driver chip. And just quickly go over those diodes here. Good. And good. Nothing really obvious. No obvious signs of physical damage on the board. No burn marks and nothing like that. So how can we tell where the short is coming from? I've worked on iPads before where the short was coming from any one of those capacitors here. Now I see a hint. I see a hint. Look at this discoloration here. Now this may or may not be anything, but we have to keep it in mind. We have to take it into consideration. And that's all I really see. What we're going to do is inspect the board under a thermal cam. So I'm going to point at the board, grab my tweezers, and let's go ahead and power on the device. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I'm interested in this little spot here and not the big one. Because from experience, it's the little one that causes the big one to get hot. So let me point on this component. Okay. I'm pointing at this component now. Let's go to our microscope. And where is my tweezers? 
pointing to. And look at that. That's what I suspected. We have this coloration here. So it's most likely this component, this, or any one of those here. It's likely this component because it's the closest one to the chip. This is a capacitor. Let me disconnect power. Meter in diode mode. Let's measure to confirm the short. And yes, we do have a short. We have a short. So all those caps are shorting to ground. One of the caps can cause the rest of the caps to short to ground. And if we continue, so on and so forth. So all those capacitors are shorting to ground. What about this one here? This one is not shorting to ground. So take a wild guess. Which component is bad? This component is not shorting to ground. My tweezer was on this component. This is the one that was getting hot under the thermal cam. Discoloration on the side of the chip. So take a wild guess. The bad component is this one. But one way to find out. Nothing is for sure. And look at this. Look at this. Look. Look at this. It did not look broken when we looked at it, but now <laughs> that we touched it, look at this. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we did not have to do any desoldering. We did not have to do anything crazy. And we just got rid of that component. Is that a fix? One way to find out. Okay, so now that this component is out, let's test to see what readings we get on the amp meter with the battery disconnected. So I have the charging cable in. And what do we have? We have 0 0.07. Problem is fixed. The problem is fixed. Let me quickly measure in diode mode just to see if the short is gone. Look at this. We do not have a short anymore. Problem is fixed. The problem is fixed. One more time, let's plug the charging cable in. And if we look at the amp meter here, amp meter is reading. The amp meter is reading 0 0.09, which is perfect. Perfect. And now if I remove the separator between the battery and the board, it should jump up to about 0 0.9 or 1 amp. And I just did. I removed the separator. And look at this. It went up to 0 0.98, which is the normal charging rate. Awesome. 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 Tablet is fixed. All we have to do is plug the LCD and see if it comes on. I have the customer's LCD here. I have the LCD plugged in. And let's try to power it on and see what we get. It should work. And right there, it's working. <laughs> it's working. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to give this to Big Boss to reassemble, invoice the customer, and ship it back to him. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video. Hi.